Hi guys, welcome to the workshop. Today we will be changing the brake discs and brake pads on this Black Beauty. So stay tuned and see how it goes. New shoes for this Black Beauty. Okay guys, so I try to bring everything together so you can see what you need to for this job to change the discs and brake pads. So First of all, you will need an impact driver and a jack, of course. Uh, secondly, you need something to push the piston back. In my case, I will use this one. And with this head over here. And just in case that you are wondering how to put this thing on, simply go like this ok so you need this thing yeah because this one I think is too small to rotate it you will need uh, these things to clean the caliper you will need the dynamometric key wrench to torque it at specifications uh, you need a 22mm to pull out your uh, bolts on your wheel and you will need a 30mm a 30mm impact driver to remove the calipers, uh, calipers bolts you will also need some silicone grease to replace the one that is already there you will need some um, high strength uh, Red locker and the medium one, blue and red. Also, you'll need a couple paste to grease uh, the parts or for the uh, bricks. You'll need also a cleaner decreaser to remove any unwanted uh, dirt, misery, something like that. You'll need a couple spray for the wheel. You'll need a brake cleaner for the disc to clean them. Uh, what else? So, you'll need a uh, 50 a 40 key with a 30 millimeter key to remove also the the bolts on the caliper a tool rack to have some clinkets around of course and you also need some uh, color in case that you want to prolong the life of your caliper and uh, yeah you want to give it a new shiny look you need also the discs I got them mine from Ate they are looking like this Okay. Also, I got the big disc, ceramic big disc from Ate. Low dose, low noise, and long life. You also need uh, two of these to block your wheels, the front wheels, and also a screwdriver, a flat screwdriver to remove the old brake pads from over there. Yep. And this, this, this being said, let's jump to work. Ok guys, so let's put this uh, car on maintenance mode, at the moment times the car is stopped, so I will go to the following process. Service, electronic parking brake, handover, desperation, evoke, 2015. And we need to release to the service. So the first thing I did, I chucked the wheels. Okay. And let's release them to service. So note that we need to have this braking uh, system uh, off. So in order to do that, we will Start the car, but not the engine. Okay, leave the door open, we know that. And now, we need to release the parking bay, because you know it's activated. So we need to do that. You can see if, we, if I press the parking brake to release it, it will not work. So in order to do that, you need to 
There's this uh, parking brake and also the foot brake. Let it work. See? Press foot brake. And park brake, switch to release. Okay, so in this mode, I'm pressing the foot brake. And also this one. And you could hear that the parking brake was detected. Now you release the parking brake down. And let's carry on on this process. Okay. Okay. Let's get out to see also the rotors. Okay, make sure the ignition is off. Okay. Make sure the eviction is taken. Okay. Okay. And you could hear that. That was the rotors and it's complete so this is it and now you can close the car to avoid losing your battery and they will stay off in case that you want it that's it now you can work your brakes This device from Yato for the rotors. Okay. So it seems that so this have eight. 0.7 millimeters. I'm not sure. Yeah, and uh, going down a bit in the middle. It's weird. No, it's the same as in other places.
I usually like to start with uh, with some small brushes and go first around uh, here. Uh, careful before you retract the piston back. Just check around uh, the gasket if you have any uh, debris or uh, dust or something like that, so you don't uh, get it inside with the piston. You know, that's very important. So that's the important thing. Just so you know. Um, I'm using a soft brush, as you can see. Soft because I don't want to scratch the this plastic, this casket. Pretty nice. Let's see. Come over here and take a closer look. So before it was all with the breeze. Okay, and now it's going to be paint to last even longer. Seems that the piston is going back. As you can see pretty easily. I think this is the best shape because it's not, it's not going any further. have more access to grill over here. What you think, what you think about When you're born into a fire but Let them burn, let them burn it out but Sell them to the richest buyer
themselves Never let the truth fade away This is bigger than ourselves We won't let the world burn away So after two coatings, it's looking like this, and we still have to wait uh, one minute, and we will give it another coating. This will uh, prevent, uh, you know, this will prevent uh, rusting, and uh, dust will not uh, attract uh, too easily to to this caliper. Okay. So this should be enough. Okay, so this is it guys. It will be nice and shiny and rust protected of course. Okay, so we need to remove this case over here so we can release the bracket. Okay, so it's out. It had only red. I have a big nose. <laughs> uh, big nose. I cannot play. Okay, so this goes out as well. Can I move both? And this one has it. Yes, you can see it has it all over here. And now I can move the cap. Okay, guys, so here we have a Tox 350. And we need to remove that. And I need to get the other out. Okay. Not sure if this had some paste on it. But. Yeah. I need to clean it because it's all. Dirty stuff like that. Okay, so now basically we can remove the rotor, but we need to get some hammers on it because most likely it's seized up. Okay, so then now, I want 
Get to get out. Okay, so now it's out. Okay, okay, okay. Phew. Yep. There is some marks of uh, rust on the back. You can see here on the in inner liner. Yeah, but we will change that. As usual. this one last okay so first of all we need to remove the shins Same thing as well over here. These shins are pretty rusty. And now it's time to clean this. so they can die before paint. hanging and I will check up on him in a few minutes. Now basically they can take care of this one, this table. We can uh, clean it and paint it black to protect this uh, table even more. from the oven which is black and uh, seems to be resisting a lot of temperatures
So now it's looking like this. It's uh, having a matte finish. So it will protect the, this thing a bit more. And wait for 10 minutes and give it another hand. I would see. Okay, so before we mount the disc on the car, we need to uh, clean the faces of the disc because it might have oils. Mount your new bolt. Okay, so the, the new painted calipers are looking pretty nice and dandy. Okay, don't forget to remove also these things from the heads. And now we need to add paste over here. Some grease, some silicone, some silicone grease. So it went up. You can see it has some lube over here. First, I want to clean these things. See how it's going. Okay. 
Okay. So get your caliper and grease it along this uh, sliding ways like this. Okay. Also here some grease. Okay. I know that it's looking like shit, but. Get your machines out from the box. Okay, so what I was telling to you guys is that the small machine it always goes down and the big shin goes up the one that has a hole can see it i think okay so i'll use the manual for this one because it's gen one and i think i should have more faith in him so as you can see you don't need to add too much Just on a half of his face to be enough. To keep it tight for vibration, yeah. And I also put a pinch of red over here. Just this. Alongside with the Blue. Okay. Take two. Let's take out the bolt. Yeah, it's creating. Okay. So this is the first one. Let's take out the second one. And now we have to put back the brake caliper. Of course, with the new brake pads. Hmm. It is stiff at the bottom. But We'll go, we'll go first at the bottom, after that, here in the front. Okay, they are looking pretty nice with the black, black, black belt over there. And now, on to the front. So you can see. Let me go a little and this pads over here. So I put some grease over there on the top of the rotor and some grease over there on the hands. And watch me putting the rotor back. And it's 
got getting way easier. And uh, we will be putting the new bolts, which seems to already come with the red paste. So no need to worry on this. And now we should do a small test. Okay. You can see that it's moving freely and pretty easy. Okay. This is the test that we have to do. Okay. You can go this one. And I need to paint this back a bit. Okay, now it's looking ready to be painted back side. So we'll leave it sit for 10 minutes and after that refresh it again. Okay guys, so this is looking a job made by your own hands. Look how clean it is, see? A clean job. So don't tell me that you you will see these things when the mechanic will do this for you. I will say not. And a couple of things, I am not greasing this part, this exterior part of the shins, uh, for one reason, and one reason only, because this will be uh, gathering uh, the uh, dust, mud and stuff like that, and uh, it will all stuck down there and it will prevent your uh, uh, brake pad to to move back and forth, back and forth, you know. So that's why I am not putting any grease over there, I am putting it below, so that uh, it will not seize the shin and it will not rust below, just so you know. So, when you want to exit the maintenance mode, you simply select the second uh, one, with the car of course, as you can see it's off, it's not running. Okay, let's... And let's select the exit maintenance mode. To enable the parking brake, okay. Make sure this ignition is switched on. Let's switch the ignition on, but without turning on the whole engine. Okay, so it's on, okay. Some bits over there and parking brake in maintenance mode. Okay, now let's get it back. Okay, the wheel, the car is choked. And now let's extend the pistons. And the operation is complete and the pistons was extended. Okay, and that's it with the maintenance mount, guys. And now we have no more message. We have the open, okay, it's clear, okay, it's clear. And as you can see, nothing. Okay, let's stop it. And I know that the disc is new, but get a couple of spray and throw a couple of jets in the road. Ok 
just because you will see that it will be way easier to remove the, the alloy wheel after that. And by default, I'm talking the wheels at 130 Newton meters, just so you know. And job done. Thank you for watching guys and see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and follow if you like this video and stay tuned for more by subscribing it. Ciao!